So what you think about this one right here, Wilson? This is the Mu6 ring. I, man, I remember the Mu6 uh, Space 1 and 2. Those were some badass headphones, man. And uh, yeah, now they got the Mu6. Hey guys, what's up, man? Welcome back to New Stuff TV, man. This is the Untechnical Tech Channel. Hey, for you new guy, girl, who just showed up, is if this is your first time, man, let me do some housekeeping. This ain't a review channel, okay? I don't, I don't do reviews. I don't do the whole tech spec thing and, and the stuff, okay? What I do is I, I get stuff in here and I open it up for you guys. I might test it out, let you know what I feel about it at that given moment, and then that's it, man. And in the meantime, you're gonna get some good old quality infotainment. Yeah, so that's what I do. So don't be in my comments with that negative bullshit, man. <laughs> Talk about how terrible this review was. It ain't a review, bro. But if you came here to get some good energy, man, and welcome back to all the veterans. If you came to get some good energy, man, and check out some new stuff, you in the right doggone place. Check this out, man. This is the Mu6 Ring. This is one of those open ear concepts of, of listening to your audio, whether it be a podcast, maybe a movie, or even some music, man, just want your tunes. I really like this style of music listening, man. That's why I really enjoy my Galaxy Buds Live so much, is because my ears are, are open and ready for my environment. But in the meantime, I'm listening to my music, my tunes, and, and uh, like a podcast or something, or even audiobooks. I do a lot of audiobooks. So they've, they've taken this approach. This is not bone conduction. They ain't even playing around with it, man. This is straight up air conduction they call it air conduction so let me call out my man mr me here to get this thing unboxed oh wait a minute wait a minute so yesterday raylan told me he wanted to he wanted to audition to open up some packages man raylan likes new stuff just as much as the rest of us so let's go ahead and let him take care of this one um raylan uh, you, you did you still want to do some unboxings or are you busy you look, hey man, you're not even going. Look, hey, want to open that up? <laughs> you're not in the mood? Come on, man, we got work to do. The camera's rolling, and the people are watching. You're not in the mood to un. Okay, fine. Man, you know, between Wilson and Raylan, I don't know who gives me the most grief around here. It is hard to find good help these days. Man, these. It's worthless. Don't tell him I said that though. <laughs> All right. So yeah, man, this is the Mu6 ring. Let's get it open. Let's see what's in this box. Yeah, okay, let's just put that over there. So Wilson, get in here, man. Let's check this out. Let's check out this pouch. So let's just tear this open. This is a carrying pouch. This is, um, it's like the old school sweatpants, man. So it's nothing, you know, it's not like padded or nothing. It's just something nice to carry your, your, uh, what are these headphones you call these i don't even know what you call this just your hearing thing so it's just something to carry that in and then you got a usb let's <laughs> oh before i say it sometimes they get me man sometimes sometimes they pull one over on me man so oh yeah man this this right here this is upsetting this my friends is a micro usb charging cable this can be a deal breaker for some people uh, it depends on the product, man, because I know a lot of products still, you know, are rocking with the USB and it's just not necessary in a lot of cases, but it is a nice luxury to have. A product like this that looks like this and has good technology in it, man, you gotta, gotta bring everything up to speed with what the people want. So Mu6, make sure you get on it. I know you can do it because you've already done it on your headphones, but man, look at this, man. Do you see that color right there? You see that blue, man? This is that same kind of blue that was on the... Uh, the Soundcore uh, Life Q35, man. I like this like deep, dark blue. This like midnight. Oh, oh, okay. So that's how you do that. I thought they actually came like that. Wait, is it is it springing on there? It's like a spring loaded. No, it's not spring loaded, but it does have these little stopping points, kind of a ratcheting kind of mechanism in there. And that's how you adjust it towards your ears. That's pretty cool, man. Right here, you got a push button. It's on both sides, so you can go play and pause and your volume and stuff like that. I'll have to see everything that that thing is capable of uh, once I get into the uh, instructions and kind of show you how to work these things. But there is nothing on the other side. So this right here is going to be your only interface with the actual hearing device. I keep wanting to call them headphones, but I don't know if you want to call these headphones or not. So your micro USB port is covered up by a flap, which makes these uh, waterproof. On the website, it says they're waterproof. I don't see any IP ratings 
on the website or on the box, but it just says waterproof. So, you know, I guess, you know, for sweat and activity and stuff like that, uh, it's going to be OK for that. As far as like going swimming and submerging them in water, I, I don't know, man. I don't I just don't know because it doesn't really give you any numbers. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, IP ratings and stuff like that. But uh, let's take a look around and look at some of this, uh, this, the speaker hardware. So right here, there's a circular word pattern. It says near ear sound field dynamic or dynamic near ear sound field. You can see that right there. And that is about the size of your driver. And you can see right there, there's kind of like a, I guess this is more of a vent. I don't think that's like where the sound actually comes out because you turn it this way kind of just down like that and it fires back towards your ear. So once you put it on your head, so you can just put this on just like this, bring them down. These things were actually made for people who like to do stuff. This is not like audio file stuff. This is not, you know, jam session type of stuff right here. This is made for people who like to get out on them streets or, or in like the park or something and do some stuff. So let's just put these bad boys to the test. You ready Raylan? Let's go, man. Put the bone down. Come on, let's go. Okay, here's a fair assessment. I really like these freaking headphone listening thingies. So I'm walking with Raylan out to a park. Let me turn this music off. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I really like them. I'm, I'm walking with Raylan out to this park. We're going to go uh, play some soccer. Check him out real quick. There he is. He's watching the kids play, and we're about to do our soccer thing. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drop a ball you cannot drop a ball in front of this dude as far as sweat uh i really haven't done that much sweat you can see the shininess on my head right now uh but as far as sweat i, I think they could take you know like a workout that kind of dripping sweat and stuff like that like even an intense workout but what i really like about them is the the, the music like the the music is not they, they don't sound as clean as my galaxy buds live let's just Put that out there there's not a whole bunch of bass but they give you the right amount of music for the type of device you're listening to these things are firing at your ears and if you stretch them out you know the sound kind of just moves a little bit further away but when you bring them in real close chill Raylan. when you bring them in real close to your ear dude it's like you can barely hear anything on the outside if you turn them up all the way now we talked about turning them up all the way i don't advise you to do that in uh, closed quarters with other people but uh, out here when I was walking to the park, uh, I, I couldn't hear much of any of my outside surroundings So I do suggest turning them down a little bit and you're still gonna get plenty of volume and the the mixture of the ambient sound It's unsurpassed because your ears are wide open You just have music playing on the outside of them and it does a great job I, I think that part of this the this device. I don't even know what to call it. I think that part of this listening device has been done so very well so if, if you were looking at something to go running with or lift some weights or just, you know, just exercise with, just be outdoors and still hear your surroundings, this is a clutch device, man. But I got a few more things to say about it. As you can see right now, I am wearing uh, sunglasses. I just found some of my thicker sunglasses. These are my raggedy ones I play around with Raylan with and chill at the pool with. But, you know, these are just kind of, these are the thickest ones I could find. So if you got glasses about this thick, you can wear them comfortably with them. But once you take your glasses off, you will feel a little bit of a clamping force on your temple. So I don't know how you alleviate that. Maybe you could put them on a pillow and kind of get them to open up a little bit, but it's not something that would, I don't think it should disturb you that much, you know, but be aware there will be just a tiny bit of clamping force on your temple. Uh, what else is there? The controls, the controls are only on one side and that's the right side of the device. And you have full controls. You have uh, volume up, volume down, and then you can press and hold for uh, track, and or track forward and track backwards. But uh, I'm a little disturbed by the, uh, the volume because this being a Bluetooth 5.0, the volume isn't synced with my phone. So when I hit the volume on here, it's not syncing it with my phone. So I got my phone turned all the way up and I got, you know, then I can control it from the headset itself. So be aware of that. That's actually the only thing I don't like about them. Uh, you can see how they look. So, you know, if you got a bald head, it's gonna kind of look like you got the you know the thick sideburns <laughs> i look like you know i got the big sideburns right here with the you know with the ball spot <laughs> that's what it looks like if you got a ball head uh if you're wearing a hat nobody could probably know you know what you got on but this is this is pretty much how they gonna look man if you if you are balding So 
as far as staying on your head while you're doing stuff, I don't think it gets any more rigorous than Raylan running me ragged out there at the park. So yeah, they'll stay on your head and they will stay put. I was listening to music the whole time and I am a little bit more sweaty. So yeah, they're, they're still functioning just as they were. So uh, let's just make it to the house, see if they can survive this little Duncan splash test real quick. All right, man, this water is a little on the chilly side. Let me, let me ease. <sighs> mm. Yeah, a little shrinkage happening. <laughs> this one is on the cool side, man. It's, it's chilly. All right, let me get him playing real quick. Let me see. All right, I wonder if you can hear that. Hold on, let me turn them up all the way. Can you hear that? I'm sure you can hear that. That's, that's pretty loud. But just in case. All right. Put this back on my head. Hold up, hold up. I'm holding the camera. And... Okay. All right, here we go. Dunk test. Oh, God. <laughs> that is cold. <laughs> yeah, they're playing. I can tell there's water in the driver. Hold up. Hold on, man. Let me let me put you on the tripod. Hold up, hold up, bro. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah, they're back to normal. Okay. Yeah, you got to blow this. Uh, You got to blow the driver out. Get all that water out of there oh sweet so at least they could take a dunk in the water turn them down see if they still operate yeah they're up full blast yeah they can let me put them on pause they could take a dunk in the water so that's nice i don't know if you want to you know straight up go deep sea diving with these things on that'd be stupid anyways but just in case you were wearing them and you were at the pool or something like that or in case it got rained on like while you were out running at least you know they're still going to be operable after you know getting a nice little dunk or a splash man but seriously man the the music quality like i said it's not as bright and crispy as my galaxy buds there's no app to go with them but the sound quality is actually really good they get loud enough to use uh, I don't know if you were weed eating or cutting grass. Mm, I don't know. That's extra loud right there. But if you're in traffic or, you know, out in the streets walking around, the music quality and the sound volume is going to be great for you. I think these are, this is a great product, man. This is a really great product. But I really do like the design. I like this, you know, that you can actually, you know, flatten them out. That way, you can just put them around your neck when you're done. Let me see if I can still hear that music. Hold up. Do I have them the right way? Huh. You can hear it a little bit, but this is about what your neighbors are gonna hear if you had them on, uh, you know, like in an office or something like that. You don't wanna blast them in an office. This is not bone conduction. This is straight up like projecting music at your ear hole. Either way, I am no expert in this kind of stuff. Like I said, this is not a review, man. I just open stuff up and have a good time with y'all checking it out. Look, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?